How often do you find yourself having to provide your personal data to various places or offices? Could be multiple, right? So, in 2019, Uganda enacted the Data Protection and Privacy Law to protect the data you provide in such places. More so, in 2020, government further put in place the Office of Compliance and Investigations under National Information Technology Authority, Uganda, to enforce the law. But, according to this office, many Ugandans are not aware of this law and how crucial it is to them. Baker Birikuja is the manager of compliance and investigations. Someone will go to an institution, they collect way more data than is required. You're moving into a building, uh, they need to take your picture, then they take a picture of your machines, then your national ID. All this information is massively collected. But uh, the reasons which they give to be able to follow up with you, to know who you're going to see, really doesn't tally with the collection. So people should assert their rights. If they don't, because the law says start with them, then you can report to us. Much as we received a number of complaints, but the level at which people are asserting their rights against those people who are misusing their data is very low. The office is also in charge of creating programs that raise awareness, and for this, Birikuja says they are working with the World Bank to translate the law into local dialect. As you may be aware, over 90% of Ugandans do not speak English or they don't use it as their medium of communication, most especially people in the rural areas. The law is written in English, so we are working uh, with the World Bank within a project called UDAB where we'll be translating the law so that at least we can translate it in about uh, two or four commonly used local languages so that that challenge of using a language that people are not familiar with can actually be addressed. Compliance and enforcement are still problematic, but there are some key milestones registered in the last two years. Uh, a number of government institutions uh, possibly think that the law doesn't apply to them. And we've so far registered, as required by the law to be compliant, 2,156 institutions. And good enough, one of the biggest data collectors in the country, government institutions are registered. Uh, National Identification Registration Authority, commonly known as NIRA, and also Uganda Registration Services Bureau and Ministry of Health. The penetration of internet services and advancement in technology increases the risk for breach of data privacy, but Birikuja urges the public to be vigilant and also report to their office any issues regarding misuse of data. The repercussions, those notices that we write is one of them, but then the other, the law says all those that are found and violating the law, the institutions themselves, they can be fined up to 2% of their gross annual turnover, but also the individuals, uh, anyone within the organization that allowed the non-compliance to go on can be imprisoned between three months to ten years. Walter Mwesije, NTV.